He's the, uh, one of the wealthiest men in the world, one of the most successful businessmen in the world. And he, um, he has, I guess he's sort of cracked the genome of the Transformers. And he's figured out how to, how to, how to generate them, how to sort of keep, uh, how, to, how to create them, how to build them, how to birth them, how to, um, and, but eventually that ends up getting him in trouble. He's, like I said, he's very spontaneous. Um, <clears throat> he'll do more shots before lunch than most directors will do in three days. Uh, and they're all kind of amazing shots. Uh, and so it keeps you on your toes, which I really like. There's improvisation, there's, but you also are sticking to the script. He'll throw stuff out of the window and bring new stuff in, you know, in the, in the front door. And it's, it's, as an actor, it's, it's, it's very exciting. And also, as somebody who's directed movies, it's, it's really fun because to, to watch somebody work like that. Once we started shooting outside in Detroit, the Hong Kong set in Detroit, I'd never experienced anything like that because there were explosions going off, the likes of which I'd never, never seen before. And we shot, again, there was a sequence that Mike, what Michael did in one day, most directors would take a week to do. The technology is changing so quickly that they're going to be able to do stuff in this film they weren't able to do in the other films or even that they were able to do six months ago. So that's, I think, kind of, it's going to be amazing. I think it'll also be beautiful looking.